Hi, my dear students. Today, teacher will discuss the exercise Mastery Q 4.3, page 86, question number 1. Okay. Write a proportion for each of the following situations. Use a suitable variables to represent the required information. A. Puan Jamila mixes 175 milliliter of olive oil and 50 milliliter of vinegar to make a marinade. What is the volume of vinegar required if Puan Jamila uses 300 milliliter of olive oil? Okay, there are many methods to solve these problems, but Teacher will use uh, the uh, directly proportional method. Okay. What is a directly proportional method? Okay. If, if we want to find the 300 milliliter of olive oil, how many volume of what vinegar? So, this on the left side should be olive oil. Because we want to find the olive oil and how many vinegar. So, the olive oil on the left and vinegar, the amount that we want to find on the, the right. Yeah, this is... Okay, this is for olive oil. Olive oil in milliliter. And this one is for vinegar. In milliliter. Okay, so olive oil 175 equal to 50. Yeah, so 300 milliliter olive oil. How many vinegar? Okay, if we see this one, yeah, if we see this one, if we use the more olive oil so if we use more olive oil we should use more vinegar so this is a directly proportional yeah we call it directly proportional it means that when something increase the other increase or when something becomes smaller the other becomes smaller or if we use less Olive oil in milliliter means we have to use less vinegar in milliliter. Because this is directly proportional, then the method is yeah, 50 divided by 175. Yeah, 175. 175 multiple 300 okay, so what's the answer okay 50 divided by 175 multiple 300 55.71 yeah okay this is the answer so if we use a 300 ml olive oil, we have to use 85.75 ml vinegar. Okay, this is the, the method that teacher used to. Now we continue with the 1B. A meteorologist used a rain gauge to measure the amount of rain in a city. He found out that the total rainfall in the city was 7.8 mm within 3 hours. If the rainfall continues at the same rate, how long will it take to reach 11.7 mm? Okay, now we want to find out how long. Yeah? How long? It means that how many hours? Therefore, okay, draw the table. Okay. 
So therefore, this is hours, and this is milli meter. Okay, so we write the pair seven point eight milli meter equal to three hours. Therefore, eleven point seven milli meter. It means that when the uh, the reading ah uh, is higher means it takes a longer to reach this reading. So this is a directly proportional, yeah, directly proportional. Okay, therefore directly proportional is three divided, yeah, three divided by. 3 divided by 7.8 multiple 11.7 3 divided by 7.8 multiple 11.7 okay, we have a 4.5 okay take the two decimal point we get 4.5 hours yeah So this is the the answer, yeah. Okay. Three divided by seven point eight multiple eleven point seven equal to four point five hours. Okay, so there are there are many methods, yeah, how to solve this problem. So this is the method that teacher used to. Until we meet again, bye. Thank you.